was sponsored by AXO for uh, downhill mountain biking and BMX. I told him I needed some boots. Boots for off-season motorcycle training, and here they are. Pretty cool. They're old school, these things. I've already had to re-glue the soles. They really need to be re-stapled or something. They're working. Better than hiking boots. Nothing worse than a rock in your boot. You get halfway out there and you're like, dude, what's that poking me in my foot? You know, you got another mile left of the trail and the rock's just like digging through the bottom of your foot. You're like, oh my god. Killing me. Then your foot's bruised for the next week. Like, man, how come you're walking for He's like, you know, I had a rock in my boot. I had to finish out the trail. And that's basically put a hole in the bottom of my foot. All right. Helmet, gloves. We're off to the races. These guys across the way are ready to go. I'm still sitting here lagging, so. Let me grab my gloves and I'll be right on their ass. sideline instead of the rock. Then you come down into this duff berm. I slid out right where the wood starts. And if you look close, you can see my mark, which probably says I'm the only one that slid out right there. See the line? It slides, and then it hits the wood. I had to run up and over the wood and then down the rock, and I probably lost about 20 seconds. So I'm wondering if I even finished third place. Pretty sad, man. Drove four hours to slide out in almost the easiest part of the course. So anyway, this is the section. So anyway, here we go. Back up the hill. Back to the rock drop. That rock drops about six, six to eight feet. And then here's the other side. TRX class, Stanford University. <laughs> 